Thank you everybody, uh, Jeff again, and I'm just going to go by Jeff and wing it that way. Uh, and we're going to start off the second half and get things rolling again with Ignite Karaoke. Wow. Our three candidates, uh, they did all return. They seem a little bit more intoxicated than when they left, but that's fine. Kind of works with the theme. Uh, and what's going to happen is they're going to come out and each of them are going to see, there's going to be one total presentation. Each of them are going to present six of those slides. They have never seen these before. Uh, they are going to do six of these. There's kind of sort of a theme, but again, I was inebriated when I did this. So your mileage may vary on whether it makes any sense to you. <laughs> They're going to see a switch sign and the first person is going to run off. We're going to get the second person out here. She's going to give six of those slides, and then the third person is going to come out and wrap it up. And then we're going to return to all of you to vote on who actually won. Now, all three of them are going to win some fabulous prizes, courtesy of Bookman's, one of our great sponsors. I think they took one look at karaoke uh, early on and said, that is really weird. We want to be a part of that. So I like that kind of attitude. So. If you thought the regular presenters and, and that kind of exercise was scary, uh, they had a chance to rehearse. These people have never seen these things before, and most Ignite Kari, uh, karaoke presenters never speak to me again in their lives afterwards. <laughs> it's a badge of honor, personally. But if you can give a big round of applause, I'd like to bring out our first presenter, Brett. <laughs> Do this. I can hardly wait. All right. Oh my gosh, you know, Nessie, you know, one of those strange things. I loved Scotland. I was just there last, uh, about two summers ago. I had a lot of time. I had a lot of fun, drank a lot of beer. I love Scotland. Those people are a little bit crazy. The guys wear skirts. Some of them were called Heather. And uh, this guy. Wow, I mean, you know, if, when you when you see the Scottish, they're really uh, they're a lot of fun. They have a they have kind of an attitude about everything. I, we met a guy in our true Scottish shop. I said, uh, yeah, he said he was true Scottish, but he was from Romania, and uh, you know, he was selling Scottish stuff that was from China or something. But uh, then the wow, aliens. Uh, you know, I used to work. Actually, I used to work. Holy crap! I never saw this guy. Uh, I used to work at NASA, and I never saw this guy. I don't know where they kept him, but he's out there somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's out there. I, I'm, I've got to be pretty sure. And, uh, you know, I, I really like uh, costumes, but that's one I would never, ever wear, I don't think. I, you know, I'm furry enough as it is, but uh, that guy, holy cow, you know, you've got to really... That cannot be a real thing. That cannot be a real thing. There is no Harry Man Festival. Sometimes I see stuff on the internet and I go, you people are making this stuff up. This cannot be real. This really can't be real. There's no people out there. Thank God it's over. Thank you. All right. Oh, okay. Well, we're talking about tomorrow. Well, that means I got to get up and get in a car and go to California. Fantastic. That means nine hours in a car with my husband. Kill me now. <laughs> oh, I see they found a family picture. That would be his mother in the middle, I'd imagine. Hey, twins. Cute. <laughs> Apparently I don't talk enough. Oh, fantastic, my hair via high school. Why didn't we find all the family portraits? I thought you were inebriated when you found this. Were you on my Facebook? <laughs> Scary thought, throwback Thursday got weird. <laughs> ah, the car. So this is last year's model, I'd imagine. I suppose next year's going to have some sort of hair dryer on the bottom of it. Obviously, I came with mine wet. <sighs> all right, 
come out of ideas. <laughs> oh, see, family dog getting in the car. I thought we talked about this California trip being a family thing. Unfortunately, husband may not make it if Fluffy eats him. Okay. Yeah, car trips involve snacks. Unfortunately, I'm a little behind on the Star Trek thing. <laughs> kind of one of those things. I, I, I watched the George Takei thing on Facebook, but usually it ends up tending towards strange but not historical. It says switch. Oh, wow. Look at him. <gasps> I, I like this game. Um, what happens next? Oh, 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 I remember those bags. Holy crap, look at those eyes. Ooh. I'm no longer attracted. No, and, and those Abercrombie models, they're pretentious anyway. No, no. Um, he's a little muscle bound, in my opinion. Um, I, I like the eyes again, but uh, he kind of looks like he can't move his arms to the sides. Oh my god. What did you do to me? This is amazing. I gotta go like this again. Uh, <laughs> stay in the blue box, they said. Um, well, he looks really nice, but... Kind of reminds me of my grandfather. With that, with that truck, I mean, I took my grandma to the hospital when she was giving birth to my mother, and oh. And that's not what they looked like when they came out. I, I hope, I hope. I, I will have to ask my family, oh my goodness. Um, what do you think they're ready for? You're welcome. They don't want to go into the little blue box anymore. Okay, so, by a round of applause, who did the most convincing, wonderful job of karaoke? Was it Brett? <laughs> Was it Kate? <laughs> or was it the very spinning, dancing Heather? Nicely done, but I think our champion this evening is Brett! Great show! Fabulous, Brett. Thank you, sir. There's a Bookman's bag. Everybody wins up here. So thank you very much. Another big round of applause. Go ahead and hit off stage and we'll get you out of here. Thank you very much. My apologies for any bad dreams that may haunt you this evening. And if your hands aren't too sore, if you could start clapping one more time, we'll bring out the first presenter of the second half, Greg Knight Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs>